Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler to a roundup video of my December vlogs. I originally had planned to do a video each week, but a few things happened. One, I got COVID. Two, we just don't have too much happening during the week. So it ended up always being just like maybe a weekday or a random thing during the weekend. And so it didn't really make sense to do a dedicated vlog each and every single week. Another thing that happened is I had some technical issues, so I lost the data, I found the data, it's a whole thing, but in general, I still wanted to share it with you, mostly just for selfish reasons. I love, I really want to see these for future years for me and Dave. This is our last December in California, so we just wanted to soak it in and enjoy each other's company, and again, he, we're still, I feel like, adjusting to having him back home after being gone for a while. And so today's video is going to be like a highlight reel for December. It's just going to be like little chapters of our lives throughout December and I hope you enjoy it. But before we get into it, I just, just want to show the giveaway items for this video. I do have two things that I'm giving away. One is a Christmas puzzle. It could be more wintry, but it's a little late. So it is the Vermont Christmas puzzle called Family Christmas and it's super bright and colorful. And then the second puzzle that I'm giving to you in this one is called Vase of Flowers, Grapes, and Peaches, and it's a fine arts puzzle by Antelope. Like, look at those colors, so pretty. Um, so make sure to do the things down below to enter, and we are just going to get into this video. There's so much stuff that we did. We went to the zoo, we had some dates at home. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and let's go on to chapter one. Today was the first day I woke up with no fever and I was like, oh, maybe I'll actually be able to do some stuff today. I was a little stuffy. I had like a little bit of sore throat, but the, without the fever, I just felt so much better. So. I had made like a little to-do list, like take a shower, go for a walk, do some laundry. Um, I wanted to clean the living room. Well, I did a few of those things, got home from the walk that was 15 minutes. Like I walked for 15 minutes, was exhausted, out of breath, took a nap for three hours, and now we're here. Clearly I overdid it this morning with all that physical activity, but it is what it is. I know it's going to take a little bit before I feel 100%, but... I feel a thousand times better than I did yesterday, and that is so good because I was miserable. Um, so it's like close to three days almost home, and I need to, I really do want to clean the living room a little bit. There is our beef stew, very simple. Um, I still have some in the pan. Well, look at that big bay leaf in there. He makes fun of me because I put bay leaf in every single soup. Every. Even ones I can't taste. So Dave said, you want to tell him what you said, told me? I said this is the best beef stew she's ever made. Which really sucks because I can't taste it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the simplest recipe. Um, I'll leave it down below. I mean, it really was the simplest recipe. I will say, even though I can't taste it, the texture seemed nice. And I do like the potatoes. The potatoes... Can you taste the potatoes? I can't. I can taste the slight saltiness of the potatoes, and I mm. like the texture. So, it it's good. You know, it's at least something. Something that I'm eating. Mm-hmm. But... At least you're eating. At least I'm eating. That's a good thing. Maybe tomorrow I'll make bread. face. He's like, do your face again. Mm -mm. Do your face. That was the once in a lifetime. Why? You don't think I can make bread? Or you don't think I have the ambition enough to make bread? I think bread's a lot. Yeah. I've done it before. Let it rise and then I've done it before, though. 
I used to do it a lot when I was younger. I mean, it would make the house smell awesome. So I love the smell of like freshly baked bread. Mm -hmm. Oh no. We'll, we'll do something tomorrow. So it's a little bit different because I packed that up a couple weeks ago. Hey. What is it? <laughs> Melting snowman. Make me melt in hot milk. Oh, we don't have milk. If only we had milk. If only we had milk. But we don't buy milk. I bet it would not be good in water. No. I fail. Do you think it'll be good in water? I don't know. What did it say? I'm only a morning person on Christmas. Well, December 25th. Yeah. Do they both say the same thing? I don't remember. Nice until proven naughty. That one's yours. <laughs> My original plan, he asked me for Emily Surprise, which is a hot chocolate thing that I make. But it has coffee, so I wasn't going to do that. So I was like, oh, we'll do this. And I forgot those needed to be made of milk. I was thinking we could make hot chocolate and then go walk around the neighborhood and look at Christmas lights. You were thinking that, huh? I was thinking that, but now he, I didn't realize you were in shorts. And I don't have milk. Epic Did you burn my tongue off? Oh, it's good. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I got my hot chocolate. I got my slippers. And my husband. And we're going to go walk around the neighborhood. Oh, you weirdo. Hi. Hello. I don't mind showing our neighborhood too much because, one, they all look the same. And two, we're moving. So. <laughs> it's only one, right? Yeah. Some of our neighbors put in a lot of effort. Some of them do the one strand method and just put it wherever they have a tree. <laughs> yeah. We actually used to do lights. I feel like we did a pretty good job <clears throat> at it. This is the first year we haven't, just because. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. We knew that we would have to re replace the lights this year. And if we're not going to do them next year at the same house, then it seems wasteful, don't you think? I have a feeling next year we're going to be going through a lot of lights and seeing if they work. Yeah. Tree.
Well, I'm actually just about to head out to go to San Diego. I'm meeting Dave at the... Oh, I'm meeting Dave at the zoo. It will probably be our last time at the zoo before we move, which is kind of sad. Maybe we can squeeze in the safari park, which is closer to us, but the zoo is like a whole day dedication going down to San Diego. We normally don't go this late because we like to go in the morning, but it is jungle bells. And that means at night they have lights and like we love to ride the bus at night because you can see all the lights around the park and but it's fun. Anyways, I need to get going to meet him down there and I'll bring you on. Dave. <laughs> yeah. We're on the bus. We're gonna take a tour. Get on the bus, just. No, sorry. <laughs> so we're getting a fantastic view here of both Ernest and Ella, our male and female lions. And of course, these are African lions. She is living her best solitary life right now. And uh, yeah, seems to be enjoying herself. <laughs> As you and this is the natural time in their lives that they would leave the matriarchal herd and head off on their own to band together in what's known as a bachelor herd. How cute is that? We passed. We do owe them a lot of credit. They've been with us for decades. And what they've taught us about elephant welfare, how to take care of them properly, and just in general facts about elephants. Two bears are brothers. They came to us in need of a good safe home and proper nutrition when they were cubs. Yeah, these guys are getting into a little bit of trouble. Hello, lizard. That's really long. Lizard, lizard, lizard. Hi. Let's see the next one. Oh, it's a little one. Hello, little one. It's like, I could kill you with one bite. Call Probably. me little again. <laughs> little one. Oh, there's another one over there. Where? Is there from the tree? Mm. tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the highlights from December. I hope you all had a magical Christmas or December or winter, whichever you celebrate. I hope you all have a fantastic day and new year and I will see you guys very soon.